President, everybody, colleagues, uh, Minister, Commissioner. Our vote on the annual report on Turkey comes at a new low point. The text that we're going to adopt is more critical than ever on the rule of law, press freedom, the separation of powers, as well as the violence in the southeast. And frankly, we are seeing a pattern that has become predictable, but not less concerning. And it frankly seems like we're the only politicians and the only EU institution that is clearly and vocally speaking out. It is very problematic that the European Commission and the Council have halted their agendas, that the Commission delayed its publication of the annual report, and that there has been a deafening silence when it comes to human rights violations in Turkey recently. We saw Vice President Timmermans rushing to shake hands with President Erdogan eight days before critical elections, and I would actually like to see him participate in a debate on Turkey in this House. It is key that the Council does not outsource its responsibilities on asylum and considers hope a strategy and hopes that Turkey will solve its problems. The deal on migration has been a toxic one, and I'm afraid we've paid the highest price, the price of our credibility, of our principles, and of our words. We are clear in our report of what needs to be done, and I hope the Commission and the Council will change their course. Thank you.